Imagine living your entire life at sea. No permanent home on land, no farms, no fixed villages. Your world is the ocean. Your livelihood, your food, your culture all tied to the waves. This is the story of the Bajau people, often called the Sea Nomads. For centuries, they have roamed the waters of Southeast Asia, particularly around the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Instead of roads, they follow currents. Instead of cities, they anchor small boats. The sea is their map, their kitchen, and their playground. But what makes them truly extraordinary is their incredible ability to dive and stay underwater. While most of us struggle to hold our breath for more than a minute, Bajau divers descend into the deep blue for minutes at a time, sometimes over 10 minutes in a single dive without oxygen tanks or modern equipment. They spear fish, harvest shellfish, and gather sea cucumbers from depths that would overwhelm ordinary people. Scientists became fascinated by this mystery. How can the Bajau dive so long without drowning? The answer lies in their biology. Researchers discovered that the Bajau have unusually large spleens up to 50% bigger than those of neighboring populations. The spleen acts as a natural blood bank. When they dive, the spleen contracts, releasing oxygen-rich red blood cells into circulation, allowing them to survive longer without breathing. It acts as if evolution itself has gifted them an edge in adaptation born from generations of living in harmony with the ocean. Beyond biology, the Bajau's culture is shaped by the sea. Their children learn to swim before they can walk. Many grow up with eyes adapted to see clearly underwater. Traditionally, some Bajau spent their whole lives on houseboats, only stepping onto land to trade. Even today, their identity remains tied to the ocean, though modernization and government policies are slowly changing their way of life. But their story raises a fascinating question. How much can humans adapt? The Bajau prove that our bodies are still evolving, still capable of remarkable changes when survival depends on it. So next time you look out at the endless sea, imagine a people who call it home. A people who, in the eyes of science, come closer than anyone else on Earth to breathing underwater. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more fascinating explorations of the hidden wonders of our world.